I'm going to show you how to trade on Endax. I'll be showing you how to place market limit and stop orders for both the buy and sell side. I would say that 99% of people who use Endax will use one of these three order types. But before that though, if you don't already have an account with Endax, I'll leave a sign up link in the video description where you can get yourself a $10 bonus after a $100 trade. With that said, let's get started. So right now I'm on the trade dashboard and ready to trade with the funds in my account. If you don't don't have any funds in your index account yet here's how you can fund your account you're gonna go over here where it says wallet after you're going to click on receive and I'm sure everyone is familiar with e-transfer so I'm going to click interact e-transfer after it's going to present you with all the details on where to send your e-transfer to so one thing to note is that you'll want to include this unique message code when sending your e-transfer if you don't then that can cause delays or issues on receiving the funds on index now mine's blanked out for privacy but you're gonna have a unique code for yourself so once you've got your funds on index you're going to go back over here where it says trade and you're going to be brought back to the trade dashboard so right now this is the trade dashboard for Solana as you can see it says Sol dash CAD so over here is where all of the orders are going to take place now before I show you how to place the different order types I first need to explain this over here now this is called the order book this is important because it affects you when you're placing your trades so on this order book there are sell orders which are in red and there are buy orders which are in green now the order book basically allows people to see the price and quantity that one is willing to buy and sell at it could be an individual or a group of people now when we look at the order book we could see the price the quantity and the cumulative total right now for the sell side we can see that the first order is over here which is highlighted in red this means that someone or many people are looking to sell Solana at this price over here as we go up this order book the sell side on this order book will increase in price and so does the total number of Solana because again this is a cumulative total based on the quantity over here so it would be this plus this plus this and and so on and so forth conversely when we look at the buy side of the order book the first buy order is highlighted in green and it starts off at the highest price and it works its way down now if we look at the first order on the buy side this means that buyers are wanting to buy this many Solana at this particular price now as for the total just like on the sell side it's a cumulative total of the amount of Solana people are wanting to buy so it's this plus this plus this plus this and so on and so forth as it goes down the buy side on the order book so now that you understand how the order book works you'll have a better understanding of how trades get placed let's now take a look at the different order types I will go over a market order then a limit order and then a stop order just as it says over here so a market order means that you're wanting to buy or sell right now based on the order book if you are buying you're going to buy from the very first order that's highlighted on the order book from the sell side now this should make sense because when someone is buying you're buying from someone who is selling and this is true of the opposite when someone is selling they're selling it to someone who is looking to buy so right now as you can see the market button is selected along with the buy button and when you look over here there are two fields there's the order size and the order value now order size means the number of coins in this particular case it's Solana order value means the value of the coins in Canadian dollars all you need to do is fill in one of these fields and the other will automatically fill in so as an example let's just say that I want to buy 0.1 Solana as you can see the field over here has automatically filled in now 
conversely, if I fill in the order value, let's just say to $20, this will automatically fill in as well. So let's just say though that I want to buy 0.1 Solana and it's going to let me know roughly how much I'll be getting based on the fees and the order total and the market price. I like what I see, so I'm just going to click on place buy order. And just like that, I've bought my Solana. So I'm just going to click this over here and don't show this again. Now that you've bought Solana at our market value, let's take a look at how we can sell it. Now, first we need to go back over here and click on the sell button. As we're selling, we're selling it to the first order on the order book for the buy side, which is over here. And we can see it is at 285 right now. Now just like before there are two fields that you can enter in. Now it's the order size and the order value. Again order size refers to the number of coins that you'd like to sell and order value is how much in Canadian dollars you are looking to sell. You only need to fill one in and the other will automatically fill in. Let's just say that for myself I'm looking to sell half of what I had just bought. In this case I'm going to move this slider over here to 50% and it looks like it's about 0.04 Solana that I'm able to sell. I like what I see. I'm then going to click on place sell order and just like that I've sold half of my Solana. So that's pretty much how you can place market buy and sell orders on Endax. Let's now take a look at limit orders for both the buy and sell side starting off with buying. So so the first thing I'll need to do is click on buy and then click on limit. So a limit buy order is basically asking you at what price would you like to buy Solana at should the price go there and how much Solana are you wanting to buy. As you can see there are now three fields instead of two like with a market order. Just like with a market order there's the order size and order total. However for a limit order there's now a limit price which is over here now this is where you need to enter in the price that you're wanting to buy Solana at so as an example let's just say that you want to buy 0.1 Solana if the price goes to $270 so I'm going to enter in 270 in the limit price and as for the order size I want to put in 0.1 Solana and just like with market orders when you fill in one of these fields over here the other is is going to automatically fill in. So I like what I see and what I'm then going to do is click on place by order. And as you can see the order has been placed on the order book which you can see over here on the chart as well. Now this basically means that I want to buy 0.1 Solana if the price goes to $270 assuming that someone is willing to sell it to me at that price. So this order is good until it gets filled or cancelled. Now you can cancel the it by clicking this X button over here. So that's for the buy side. Let's take a look at a limit sell order. Now the first thing that we need to do is go over here and click on the sell button. So now the question becomes at what price am I willing to sell my Solana at and how much of it? So let's just say that I want to sell the other half of my Solana that I had just bought when the price goes to $300. So kind of like with the limit order over here and limit price I'm going to enter in $300. As I want to sell all of my Solana I'm going to drag this all the way to 100% and as you can see the order total has automatically changed. I like what I see I'm then going to click on place sell order. So my order has been placed on the sell side of the order book as you can see here on the chart. Now this basically means that if the price of Solana goes to 300 I'm going to sell 0.0 for Solana. Again, this order is good until it gets filled or canceled. You can cancel it at any time by clicking on this X button over here. So that's pretty much how you can place limit buy and limit sell orders. Let's now take a look at the last order type, which is stop orders for both the buy and sell side. We're going to start off with the buying. So I'm going to go over here and click on stop and also click on buy. So a stop buy buy order is kind of the opposite of a limit buy order. Instead of buying when the price goes down, you're buying when the price goes up. 
A stop buy order is primarily used for traders who are looking to stop themselves out in a short position or a trader who's looking to buy on a breakout. Now you can't short on index, so I guess it would be for people who are looking to buy on a breakout. So as an example, let's just say that after analyzing the charts and whatnot, I think that should the price go above or break $300, that the price is going to continue to go up hard and I want to get in on that upside. In that case, I would put a stop price at $300. So I would then go over here and enter that in $300. As for the order size, I want to buy 0.1 Solana just like before. So I like what I see and I'm then going to click on place buy order. So as you can see, the order has been placed and essentially what this means is that should the market price go above $300, a market order will be placed to buy 0.1 Solana at whatever the market price is based on the sell side of the order book. So this order, just like with a limit order, is good until it's canceled. So you can cancel it by clicking this X over here. So that's the buy side. Let's now take a look at a stop sell order. So I'm going to go back over here, make sure stop is selected, and then click on sell. So a stop sell order is kind of the opposite of a limit sell order. Instead of selling when the price goes up, you're selling when the price goes down. A stop sell order is primarily used for traders who are looking to stop themselves out in a long position or a trader who's looking to sell on a break out on the downside. As you can't short on index, it's primarily primarily for people who are looking to minimize their losses on their buys or their long position. So as an example, let's just say that with the Solana that I have, should the price go down to $270, I want to sell all of it because I think that the price will continue to go down further. And I want to limit the losses that I have and not take on greater losses potentially. In that case, I'm going to put the stop price at $270. As for the order size, I want to sell all of it. So again, I would take this slider and drag it all the way to 100%. I like what I see. So I'm then going to click on place sell order. And essentially what this order means is that should the market price go below $270, a market order will be placed to sell all of my Solana, which is 0.04 at whatever the market price is based on on the buy side of the order book. So that's pretty much how you can place trades or trade on NDAX. Now there are definitely more advanced order types as you can see over here, if you select this, but I think that the three order types that I just talked about is good enough for the majority of people. The last thing that I want to mention is that when you are trading, you ideally want to buy it lower than what you had sold it for or you plan on selling it for. Essentially, you are buying low and selling high. Now, over here in this demonstration video, I may be selling it lower than what I had bought it for, but that's okay. This is just for education purposes. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.